Shalom, covering my name, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Yet again, more breaking news coming out of Syria. This time, a U.S. convoy of soldiers has been deployed to the Al, uh, Al Abiyad Roya after Turkish attacks on the gate there. Now, as you can see here on your screen and behind you here, of course, we know it's U.S. Uh, soldiers there by the vehicles and, of course, by the American flags that are being flown there. This here is the gate right in behind you here that they're going up to. That is right there on the Turkish border. Uh, this is east of the Euphrates here. I want to kind of share that with you by looking at the map here so you can see exactly where we're at. Let me kind of back out just a little bit so you can see this a little bit better here. It's east of the Euphrates here. This is where the uh, President Trump originally was talking about making a 30,000 strong uh, uh, military contingent there to be able to guard the borders against invasions inside of Syria. Now, of course, as uh, Damascus would see it, it's carving out another state. It's carving out a Kurdistan state, which they're not in favor of. But yet the Kurds and Damascus have been in continual talks there trying to resolve their differences so that they can come together and work together to defeat the rest of the insurgents that are inside the country. Because we still have Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra. Al-Nusra is a sponsored terrorist group by the Turkish government. Now, Turkey considers the Kurdish people a terrorist organization but neither does Russia nor the United States consider them a terrorist organization. However, Russia let down the bars by allowing their S-300, S-400 systems to be turned off in the country while uh, the Turkish government launched attacks over across the lines against Afrin, that little bitty province here that's right, whoop, let's zoom in here, that's over here to the west, of, uh, the west side of the Euphrates River over in this region here. And the Kurds that are held up there, they were working on an agreement with Damascus, but never came through with a full agreement to work together. So therefore, the Syrian government has not come to their aid, uh, other than helping them to get more fighters up into their region and even supplying them, or I should say, helping them to get the right supplies in there that has been able to knock out some of these Turkish tanks in the region there. They also are using some uh, very sophisticated uh, weaponry there that does take out Turkish tanks. Kind of peeved off uh, President Erdogan just a little bit, but if you ask me, that's pretty much a terrorist nation as it is. NATO should consider removing uh, Turkey from the NATO pack altogether. Uh, but anyway, so Afrin is suffering heavy losses there. But this new idea here, right, right across there, as you can see, over here in Mumbai, or it's not Mumbai, but over here uh, at this little uh, area here, which is, I um, always forget these names here, but we'll zoom back in, Tel Abiyad. Uh, this is the very city there. And as you can see, it is literally right there on the border with Turkey. We'll kind of zoom in here using the, uh, using, um, uh, this is the gate right here that uh, the Turkish government has been shelling. Of course, President Erdogan has already said to the U.S., get out or they're going to run right over anyway. Well, thank God, finally, and this is what I've been waiting for, is to see the U.S. somebody stand up against Turkey over the Kurds there. So they've sent their forces there, I think mostly hoping, hoping as a symbolic gesture with the American flags there that Turkey will back down knowing that they have NATO allies there in the region. But then again, uh, Turkish government considers uh, that this is a terrorist organization and that their partners are supporting terrorists. That's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black, don't you think? Uh, well, maybe under the Obama administration, there was a lot more support of terrorism. Hopefully, President Trump will take a different stance and support the Kurdish people, as even Israel supports the Kurdish people, and even Russia has said that the Kurds should have their own autonomy inside of Syria, and it should be part of the new constitution. I'm Stephen Benoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.